In the dynamic world of investments, two prominent players, Enbridge, ticker symbol ENB, and Energy Transfer, ticker symbol ET, stand out as leading midstream infrastructure businesses. These companies boast strong investment-grade balance sheets, stable cash flow profiles, attractive dividends, and robust long-term growth prospects. In this video, we'll delve into the intricacies of these two giants, comparing their business models, balance sheets, dividend histories, and valuations to provide insights into which might be the better buy in the current market landscape. Enbridge is a powerhouse in the midstream sector, commanding a significant share of Canada's oil export capacity and providing vital connections to U.S. refineries through its mainline system. Recent strategic acquisitions, particularly in natural gas utilities, have expanded ENB's footprint, making it the largest natural gas utility operator in North America. With a well-balanced business mix and a focus on long-term contracts, ENB's stable cash flow is reinforced by inflation-protected contracts and a high percentage of investment-grade counterparties. Energy Transfer, on the other hand, boasts a comprehensive network of energy infrastructure assets across the United States. Its vast network and strategic acquisitions, such as Lotus and Crestwood Equity Partners, give it a competitive edge in key markets. Although facing challenges in the liquefied natural gas market, particularly with its Lake Charles project, ET remains committed to diversifying its energy offerings. Recent positive developments indicate a growing probability of success for this venture. Let's start with the business model of each company. ENB boasts a robust business model evident in its extensive and diversified asset base as well as low-risk contractual and regulated cash flows, primarily from high-grade counterparties. The company's mainline system is a cornerstone asset, providing significant control over Canada's oil export capacity and serving as a crucial link to U.S. refineries. A strategic move to acquire natural gas utilities from Dominion Energy has significantly broadened ENB's natural gas footprint, establishing it as the largest natural gas utility operator in North America. This strategic shift has effectively balanced ENB's exposure to oil and gas, serving as a hedge against the volatility of commodity prices. Post-acquisition, ENB's business mix now comprises 50% in liquids pipelines, 25% in gas transmission, 22% in gas distribution, and 3% in renewables. ENB's business model gains further strength from inflation protections embedded in its contracts, covering 80% of its EBITDA with 95% of counterparties being investment-grade entities. Additionally, the stability of its cash flow is reinforced by 98% of EBITDA originating from long-term take-or-pay contracts and regulated utility assets. Furthermore, ENB's commitment to growth is evident in its pursuit of a diverse range of projects across its business segments. On the other hand, ET owns an extensive network of energy infrastructure assets, primarily focusing on midstream services across the United States. This vast network provides a competitive advantage in terms of scale and access to key markets. Approximately 90% of ET's EBITDA is generated from contracted assets, with only 10% being sensitive to commodity prices. The partnership's strategic approach to growth is apparent through acquisitions such as Lotus and Crestwood Equity Partners aiming to enhance its asset portfolio along with organic projects to expand services. However, ET faces the challenge of realizing returns exceeding the cost of capital given historical industry trends of poor returns on capital. ET's ambitious growth strategy, involving investments of around $2 billion per year in organic projects and mergers and acquisitions, underscores its commitment to expanding midstream operations and improving natural gas liquids and refined products services. Despite regulatory hurdles and delays in the LNG market, especially the Lake Charles project, ET remains dedicated to diversifying energy offerings. Recent positive developments surrounding the Lake Charles project indicate a growing likelihood of it becoming operational and a lucrative cash generator for ET. Moving on to the balance sheets, ENB demonstrates disciplined capital allocation with a triple B plus credit rating and a conservative debt to EBITDA ratio. Its financing plan for recent acquisitions de-risks expansion. On the other hand, ET, which is historically prone to high leverage, has adopted a more conservative approach, paying down debt and signaling further reductions to enhance financial sustainability. Talks about balance sheets takes us directly to their dividend distribution. 
ENB has been steadily increasing its dividends for 28 consecutive years, making it one of the best dividend growers in its sector. This reflects the strength of ENB's business model and financial health, allowing it to generate stable and low-risk cash flows similar to a utility. With a discounted cash flow also known as DCF coverage ratio of around 1.5 times its dividend, there's a significant safety margin. In simple terms, DCF is a valuation method used in finance to estimate the value of an investment based on its expected future cash flows. The basic idea behind DCF is that the value of money today is worth more than the same amount in the future due to the opportunity to invest and earn a return. Looking ahead, ENB expects its DCF per share to grow at a rate of 3 to 5% annually, aligning with its goal of providing shareholders with a stable and growing return, roughly in line with or slightly above inflation. In contrast, ET's distribution track record is not as impressive. It reduced its distribution by half in late 2020 to speed up debt reduction and maintain an investment-grade credit rating. However, since then, ET has rapidly increased its distribution, surpassing its pre-cut level. Going forward, management anticipates a compounded annual growth rate of 3 to 5% for the distribution with the possibility of unit buybacks as the leverage ratio decreases below its target range. ET's balance sheet has strengthened recently, coupled with a stable cash flow profile and a DCF coverage ratio of around 1.9 times its distribution, making ET's payout seem secure. In the tug-of-war between ENB and ET, both companies emerge as strong contenders in the energy infrastructure space. ENB's stability and historical dividend growth cater to those prioritizing safety and a reliable income stream. On the other hand, ET's more affordable valuation, strong balance sheet, and potential for higher dividend growth make it a compelling choice for investors seeking a balance between growth and income. Ultimately, the choice between these two stocks depends on the individual investor's preferences and risk tolerance within the dynamic energy sector. If you find today's video helpful, then please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel to always be up to date with new videos that are posted. Your support is invaluable.